Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nancy from nancybadija.com. On today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through setting up your Google Analytics for your Etsy shop. And, you know, Etsy does provide us with um, shop stats. And that shows you, like, the volume of your traffic in your shop as well as the traffic sources. Google allows you to sign up for a similar program for your Etsy shop called Web Analytics. Now, Web Analytics, um, it, it is a free service available to all Etsy sellers, but it does require you to have an account with Google separate. Um, I will have the link below on the text description box um, with where to go to sign up for Google Analytics. Um, it's free and it's an easy setup, so I recommend for you to do that before um, adding your Etsy account, obviously. And what's the difference between Etsy stats and Google Analytics? Well, Etsy uses a different technique than Google Analytics to detect data and they don't sample data. However, Google Analytics sample data, which means they record a subset of the data and use analysis to, to estimate the actual number with traffic sources. Um, so Etsy stats shows you how people found your shop and Google Analytics show you how people found, found you on Etsy. So that's or how people found Etsy. So that's the nice thing about it. Uh, to be honest with you, they kind of go hand in hand. You want to have both. You want to look at the Etsy stats and you want to look at the Google Analytics stats and because that's going to help you understand where your traffic is coming from, the demographic from your traffic, how they're finding your store. It's going to give you a bigger picture. And with a successful business, especially an online business, the more you know about your business, the more you check your metrics, the more you understand um, where people are finding you, the more successful you will be. So having this additional analytics um, is actually a wonderful thing and it's free. So you're not paying anything for it. And this is just to kind of give you an idea. So for example, if someone um, was to search for Etsy on Yahoo and then they click um, to go to the Etsy homepage, there's a search on Etsy and then click to go to your listing. So Google Analytics will record that the main traffic source will be Yahoo because originally they went to Yahoo and from there they went to Etsy, from there they went to Etsy homepage and from Etsy homepage they went to your actual page. Now Etsy works a little bit different. They won't record the traffic source as Yahoo, what they do is that the stats records the traffic source as Etsy search engine. So Etsy will show you that this customer came from their search engine versus Google Analytics will show you that the traffic came from Yahoo or it came. Um, so that's a nice thing about it. It's going to give you a broader look of where you're driving more traffic. It's a Yahoo. It's a um Google is a Bing, it's a, a different search engine. Is it from um, some type of website? That's the nice thing about it. You could track it a little bit better, in my opinion, versus somebody clicked, they went to Etsy, and then Etsy takes the credit for, oh, well, we, you, they found you because of the search engine on Etsy. And it's true, they did. But where did that traffic come before that? And that's why you need Google Analytics. It's called Web Analytics on Etsy, but it's the same thing. If you already have a Google Analytics, you can log in and add the profile. However, if you don't, like I said earlier, you will need to register. So the next step is I'm just going to show you how to register your account. It's pretty simple. It's going to take you a few minutes to do. So the first thing you would do is you would click on, um, you will go, I'm already logged in. So you would log in, you would click on analytics. It's going to open a new page and you're going to go on the bottom where it says admin. You're going to click there. You're going to create an account. So right here we'll say my new account name. So here you want to put in your XC shop name. So I'm going to put my XC shop name. The website, I mean, it's the same thing. So it will be, um, I would just put XC. That way you know it's from XC. Your web, website URL, that's your actual URL for your shop. So you will go up to your shop and you will copy the URL. What I normally do, I just copy from here down. 
and you don't need the HTTPS. You don't need all that. So you just copy from www to the end of your name. You could put all of it too as well if you like to. So come here. You don't need the other half because it's already here. So that's why if you put here in the beginning, HTTP, it won't take it. It'll give you like an error message. So just make sure that you don't have that there. Here, you could do this or not. Um, you could select what kind of category um, your shop falls on. Um, mine is I put shopping. You could, it, depending on what you have, you could kind of put it as close as you have. If not, you could just put other. So then what you would do, once you do that, you go on the bottom and you click on get tracking ID. You want to accept the terms and conditions. You want to click on I accept and it's going to automatically take you to the tracking code. This is where you come. You grab this tracking code up here. You copy that. And then what you do after that is that you go to your shop. And from here, you would just go ahead and into the property web ID. So you will go to shop manager. You will click on settings. You will click on options, click on web analytics, and then you will enter your shop ID right there. You will save it. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Once you save it, it does take about, just please know, it does take about 24 hours for you to view um, the information since Google Analytics does work on a delay. So that's the nice thing about XC um, stats. XC stats works on at that given moment versus Google Analytics. It does take up to 24 hours to, to view the information. But there are many pros of using Google Analytics. You know, one is that you, you'll be able to see how you acquire your users to your shop. Um, you're able to see um, how are your active users trending over time. If they're coming back, if they're shopping for the same thing, um, you'll be able to see how well do you retain users. So if you're getting additional, like the users already purchased from you, are they coming back again? You'll be able to see when does you your when do your users visit your shop? You know, um, what are your top devices? Are they using a desktop? Are they using a mobile device? Are they using um a, um a tablet? What pages does your users visit? So you'll be able to see the browsing. So not necessarily that they bought a sign from you, but they could have landed on a different page, saw a different sign that you sell, but ended up buying a whole different sign. So that, that kind of shows you the navigation or what they click on. And, you know, as I said earlier, it's important to measure your key performance indicators to grow a successful thriving XC shop. The more you know about your store, the, no, the more you know um, what's working and what's not working, the more successful you will be. So I hope that this tutorial came out in handy. Um, if you have any questions about Google Analytics or your Etsy shop, um, please make sure to leave a comment below. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be adding additional videos on Etsy, branding, growing your business, social media presence, and a lot of different tutorials as well. So thank you so much for watching and you guys have a wonderful day.